What's going on guys, it's me Vivian and welcome back to some news and updates. A few days ago, a convention called WonderCon had the cast of the Ratchet and Clank movie at a panel. Each and every one of them took the time to answer a bunch of fan questions. Not only that, they were also interviewed. We had James Arnold Taylor, Ratchet's voice actor, David K. Clank's voice actor, and Bella Thorne, Cora's voice actor. And it was pretty interesting to hear what they had to say. Apart from that, we also had Kevin Monroe, who directed the Ratchet and Clank movie. And surprisingly, at that convention, someone asked a question about the Sly Cooper movie. And thankfully, Kevin Monroe gave us a status update. Now I'm gonna tell you something. The status update is not that different from the status update we got on Twitter like two months ago, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of you were probably expecting like a release date or something like that. I know it kind of sucks, but getting this status update in person is kind of different. Like, not everyone has Twitter, right? Getting a status update on video is, I don't know, better I find. It reaches a greater audience, that's about it. And if you read the comments on the Sly Cooper movie trailer, a lot of people still don't know what's going on. So maybe one day they'll stumble upon this video and finally understand what's going on. Okay, let's just get to the point. According to Monroe, the movie will not get released this year. I mean, it was to be expected, guys, right? I don't think it's coming out this year. I'm standing by, waiting to jump on top of it. I'm just waiting for the phone call. I know everyone's really... If you visit the main websites, Rainmaker, Blockade, SlyCobraMovie.com, it still says, now in development. And since news have been very dry, a delay is pretty much expected. What else is there to say? Now what else did he say exactly? He said that the movie's not in production yet. He's waiting for a phone call. He said that he loves Sly Cooper, he's basically waiting for the green light. Monroe's up for it, I mean he describes Sly Cooper as a thief with a heart of gold. He really loves the series. And since we haven't heard anything about cancellations or stuff like that, we still have high hopes for the movie, so don't worry. Now, I actually knew about this like two months ago. If we go onto the Twitter page, a user posted on January 13th. Is the Sly Cooper movie still in progress or being made? Sly was my childhood and I really want to see this movie get made. Kevin Monroe replied on January 14th, just waiting for the green light to start. So from January 14th, 2016 to April 1st, let's say, that's like two months and a half. Now since nothing new has been revealed for two and a half months, this brings me to a point I want to cover. I think the companies first want to figure out if the Ratchet & Clank movie will do any good. If the Ratchet & Clank movie becomes successful enough, then that will probably greenlight the Sly Cooper movie. I mean look, Ratchet & Clank has been produced by Blockade and Rainmaker, right? And these companies are also planning on producing the Sly Cooper movie. So I think they're planning on testing the Ratchet & Clank movie first. If it gets a bunch of good ratings, then these companies might finally start to produce the Sly Cooper movie. And honestly guys, I think that's what's preventing the movie from starting production. Now if the Ratchet & Clank movie doesn't become successful, who knows what might happen to the Sly Cooper movie. Now I don't want to say it might get cancelled, but it might kind of delay the movie even more. Let's just stick to that. But I'm pretty sure the Ratchet & Clank movie will be a huge success. I mean a lot of people are getting hyped up about the movie. And look, even Kevin Monroe mentioned that PlayStation is very proud of how the Ratchet & Clank movie turned out, even if it hasn't hit theaters yet. And that's a good thing. And after watching the whole one minute interview with Kevin Monroe, I still feel like there's a pretty good chance that the movie will happen. So let's not worry about it guys. Now I think I just mentioned this earlier. Monroe likes the character. I mean he really loves Sly, he described him as a thief with a heart of gold. And that tells us one thing, once he starts directing the movie, he's gonna pour his heart out. What I mean by this is that he's gonna show how much he loves the series. Now here's another thing, he described the Sly Cooper series as a color noir. Color noir is a genre of film where we have a lot of shadows and dark lighting. Now Sly Cooper 1 is kind of darker compared to the other games, and the teaser we got on YouTube kind of gives us a feeling of Sly Cooper 1. I mean, the trailer has a lot of dark shadows and dark lighting. Some of you are worried about the character designs and stuff like that, don't worry about it guys. Monroe explained that the teaser trailer was made pretty fast, to actually show what the movie could look like. So this tells us that we should expect a lot of changes in character designs and stuff like that. Just like how the very first Ratchet & Clank movie trailer changed. I mean Ratchet looked completely different at first, and then he looked 
better. Now the first Sly Cooper movie trailer doesn't look that bad, I mean, okay maybe Mary's design could change a bit but the trailer overall looks pretty good. Now I feel like there's a lot of nitpicky fans out there, I mean some are complaining that Sly's actually wearing pants in the movie. Anyways, the Ratchet & Clank movie is getting released in theaters on April 29th in the US and UK. Okay, let's say the movie stays in theaters for a month. Once it leaves theaters, the companies will look at the ratings and reviews. If the movie gets pretty huge at the box office, then hopefully around June or July we'll get like a news update or something. Or even a brand new trailer with updated character models. Okay, the Ratchet & Clank movie, if we include the delay. The movie took 3 years to get produced. Now, does that mean that the Sly Cooper movie will also need 3 years to get produced? I'd say probably, yeah. An animated movie, let's say, needs around 3 to 4 years to get produced. So if the Sly movie needs 3 years to get produced, that means the movie might get released in 2019. I know that sounds sad, but it might be the reality of the situation. Okay, look guys, as long as the movie does get cancelled, I'm all up for it, I'll be happy, I don't mind. And some of you might feel the same way. And look, not all video games get movies. So Ratchet and Sly getting a movie is pretty amazing. So with that being said, I'll end the video right here guys. For those who haven't watched the interview with Kevin Monroe, I'll just leave the link in the description. Other than that, if you have any thoughts and concerns, leave them in the comments. I've been Vivi, and thanks for watching guys.